in after four o'clock. Uh, well, they finally got you. Hello, you two. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, so it's Rachel Pedley and James Berry, and there was me about half an hour ago saying there was going to be Rachel and Matthew, but he couldn't make it today, could he? No, he's been doing role play down with the doctors in um, Cardiff University Hospital, so uh, he's uh, a bit tied up today. Oh, dear. <laughs> he didn't dear. get to get away on time. <laughs> All right, then. So you're both here. Now, you work for, um, I don't know if work is the right word, uh, because... Um, with, with these production companies, yeah, you, you obviously do work, but of course um, it's all about delegating and getting people in to act, isn't it? To start with you, Rachel. Yeah, so um, I will be acting, but I'm also the producer for the show. Um, um, I'm the artistic director for um, Avant Camry, and Jamie is also a co-director of the, of the company. Good. Hello. Hello, James. Hello. There we are. Let's bring you in straight away. Now, Avant Camry, um, what's its history? When, when was it formed? It started in September 2015, and um, we, we are based, we're from the Ronda, and we've um, been based here the whole time. All of our shows get made in the Valleys, but we have toured them to Edinburgh Fringe, to Brighton Fringe. We've um, done the M4 Corridor quite a few times in Bristol and uh, different areas, so... Yeah, that's right. So you're getting about then? Yeah. So, did you actually form it then in 2015? Was it your idea? Yes, yeah, and um, it was based on... Um, a lot of the work we do is about um, creating opportunities to have a conversation about relevant topics. Right. Um, for me personally, I've gone through 11 miscarriages. Oh, and right, that's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, right. and oh, it was right. just not a topic that was talked about at all, and I felt that that needed to change. So Absolutely. We had a play called, written called Killer Cells, and um, we created a show which we performed at the Park and Dare, right. and then took on tour. Oh, brilliant. Because, I mean, um, it affects mental health as well, and of course we had that a couple of weeks back. We featured that quite heavily here at uh, GTFM. So these subjects do need to be spoken about, don't they? Definitely. Don't hide away, let's bring it out and uh, in, in some cases you can make it a, a little bit fun, uh, of a fun thing as well I guess, can't you? Well yeah, I suppose you definitely do that with your work, don't you? Yeah. Come on then James, what do you want to say? Um, so I mainly specialise in using hip hop for better mental health and using breakdancing to try and express and explore how to free what's in your mind out but in a safe and controlled way where you Good. get to express what you are and what you want to say and be free because if you talk to psychologists not that I, I have of course but you know if we they come on the show or you listen to them on the television that sort of thing they will say that uh, just talking about it and being more open about it is obviously a good thing what's the old saying the problem shared is a problem heart and would you agree with that completely yeah I yeah. think also um, we have we, well Matthew also works with um, pa patients who have mental health problems and stuff and they he always says the only way to calm them down is through being expressive and doing art. So I think using different ways of art is the best way to kind of cure it, which is kind of good. We're doing Romeo and Juliet the way we are because a young girl approached us to say, we, I want to do Romeo and Juliet. She dropped out of school from mental health issues. She got sectioned mm -hmm. um, and she went, maybe if I saw her an actual showing of Romeo and Juliet, I would have stayed in education and I would have, been all right and I would have been found it a lot easier to cope so it's actually because of her that we're putting on this production and she's playing Juliet yeah yeah because <laughs> people can have mental health issues and still be very very good it's like different threads that go through your mind one day you can feel like yes very depressed and low and angry with the world but then the next thread kicks in the following day and it's, it's a different approach to everything you can go out and perform in front of what two three four four thousand people sometimes amazing isn't it well i think that the opportunity to express is and to be able to be creative is an opportunity to take away some of the day-to-day -day stress and then um, being somebody else or painting a, a different picture to what the one you're seeing outside your window or seeing the beauty of what's outside your window and capturing capturing that it's yeah. about having an opportunity to to think of the positives or to let the negatives out so you don't have to hold on to them and we are looking to work with the health board a lot more to do something called it's called social prescribing where you can use arts i've heard of that actually it might have in fact i think it was spoken about during mental health awareness week yeah that it was on the tv the yeah. opportunity to prescribe to a dance or a drama or a music or a sports activity to be able to combat loneliness and it's a good idea because nobody wants to take tablets and pills for months and years on end do they no. So, so they go to the doctors and they actually, maybe they're referred for a while and then the prescription is, well, 
going to dance and sing and just generally have a good time. That sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should all be doing that a little bit more, you know, singing and dancing, certainly. So, uh, Romeo and Juliet, why Shakespeare? That's a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Well, I think that this is, going back to what Jamie was saying, that the schools um, are looking to introduce this creative curriculum and take some of the lessons for English, for maths, for science, and um, take them away from the desks and away from a book and bring them into real life. And Romeo and Juliet is one of the set texts for English literature still. So it's an opportunity for people to engage with, with Romeo and Juliet in a relevant um, story of that production in a local in a local setting. And uh, the rehearsals are they going really well? Yeah, they're going well. <laughs> we've, yeah, we've got we've had only Romeo and Juliet in so far because they've got the most work to do. Yeah, and um, we've been blown away by the standard. Performance, yeah. excellent. Now it's taking place. Just just remind me, is it the Park and Day? We're rehearsing in the Park and Day because they're our, our very supportive partners. Um, right, but, good. Um, we're performing in Penrith Amphitheatre. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. <laughs> no, I knew. T yeah, I knew that. Uh, the parking day was involved somewhere along the line. So that's where you're rehearsing. And then it's off to the amphitheatre. Very posh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we, we do advise that everybody come through it there yesterday, didn't we? And um, that everyone comes with maybe a, a jacket, layers, maybe a blanket. Uh, umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an umbrella. We have got a second venue, with Tylerstown Rugby Club, right. um, if okay. we have got awful weather. Right. But we're hoping that the beautiful setting on the side of the mountain will be will be fab. Yeah, it'd be, we'll be fab, wouldn't it? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. there's a golf club up there somewhere too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. just down the road. Yeah, I thought there was. So is it going on tour? It may you mentioned the Penrith uh, Amphitheatre? No, just uh, just Penrith Amphitheatre for this one. We're hoping to find out if audiences are enjoying Shakespeare in the valleys and if we bring this back to um, this idea back next year and the year after. Um, but that's something we'd like to talk to our audiences about. After. Absolutely. Good, good for you. Good for you too. Um, so it's July the 4th, 5th and the 6th. Yeah, am I right? Yeah. Uh, it gets into May, what time? About 7, 7.30 probably, is it? Well, the Thursday is a matinee show at 2.30. Okay. Um, Friday is an evening show at 7 o'clock. And the Saturday we have a 1.30 and a 6.30 show. So hopefully we've got a time and You've place. rehearsed that, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very well done, indeed. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um, so what's the future project then? Um, hip, -hop for better men uh, hip Hop for Better Mental Health. And yeah. to creating a show about how you can use hip hop and art and everything to express through mental health. Um, that's one of the main things that we're still trying to build and work on and we're working with people whose family had mental health problems and were sectioned and people who actually work in it and we're working in um, support with the Samaritans who will be at the shows and everything to Good. help people Good. through and Excellent. trying to give people an open platform to talk about what's going on and how to express themselves. and. We're going to be trying to put on more classes um, to do around mental health and stuff, which Good. we are doing already at... Um, Become a club in Porth. There we go. Yeah, yeah there we <laughs> are. Get in there. Nice safe. Now, is it is it working? That, that's the thing, you see, because it's already well prescribing this as a kind of um, medicine, if you like, then for the want of a better word, but does it work? It saved my life. Right, I'm, well, that's good enough to I'm fully, I can fully vouch for it. Right. Um, I've been speaking out on... A lots of different channels everything I can to say that this is something that's needed and we need to be able to do it because I know for a full fact if I didn't have breakdancing then I wouldn't be able to have this conversation that we're having today I wouldn't be part of a van and none of this would have ever happened Good if it wasn't for breaking and hip-hop brilliant that's great to know fantastic stuff so, um, people who are interested, they need tickets, don't they? Yeah. So where can they get those tickets from? From www.avant.cymru, and Avant is A-V-A-N-T. Yeah, see, you've come prepared, <laughs> Rachel, you have to say that. Um, so do you want to repeat that? It's www.avant.cymru, and Avant is A-V-A-N-T. Excellent. Well, thanks both for coming in, both you, uh, Rachel, uh, and to you, James, as well. Good luck for the future, by the way. Thank you. Uh, and uh, and come back and uh, you know anything that you need promoted in the future, come out, come back and uh, tell us all about it. Okay? Thank you for Thank having you. us. Thank no you problem. For having us. Have a good day. Thank you.